Thanks for being with us. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish, and uh, it's meteorological fall. And not only that, Sunday's normal high temperature has now fallen to 79 degrees, so not in the 80s anymore. The next time that normal high goes back into the 80s, June 17th of next year. It, it, some people love this kind of weather too, and we do have a cool down on the way. Not so much tomorrow. I mean, it's going to be a cooler day for your Labor Day, but as you see on the seven day planner here coming up, we do have a shot of like some early fall air that will be on the way that you will be noticing as well. That may come with a couple rain drops. We'll get to that in a second. One of the stories, the wind is going to be dying down tonight. So as the night goes on, the wind pretty much goes away. Cooler, but nice Labor Day, and there's not going to be a lot of wind again, and then it's going to be warming up. However, unsettled later this upcoming week, after that system, that's when we start to cool things down. You'll see on the seven day. Now, as far as right now, things are quiet. Again, we're bringing in kind of this uh, northwesterly flow, and with that, it's bringing in some cooler air. However, it's very dry air, that's for sure. So the rest of our night, clear skies. As far as tomorrow's concerned, I mean, if we pop a couple fair weather cumulus clouds, that'd be about it. Nothing falling out of them. And then those disappear tomorrow night. Actually, if you like the more comfortable, cooler air, that's for you tomorrow. Now, here's your other story. Again, I just talked about it. Not a lot of wind as far as tomorrow is concerned. It, I know it was kind of a gusty Sunday, but that will not be the case for your Labor Day. So if you have any sort of boating plans out there, it will be better. Here's a look at your Lake Michigan forecast for your Monday. Waves way down compared to Sunday, only up to a foot. Uh, winds out of the north, northwest, maybe five to 10 miles per hour. So the rest of your night here, actually quiet. We'll call it clear and cooler, 48 degrees. Uh, what was it, the night before was around 60. And then for tomorrow, a couple clouds, less wind, one of the bigger stories, because of course, folks want to get out on the water still, while well, we still can. Okay, as we go through this upcoming week, uh, you notice we're back into the 80s by Wednesday. There's Thursday, 83. It looks like a couple showers or maybe a thunderstorm may develop as we head mainly into Thursday night. That's that next system on the way. Friday, chance of a couple showers or storms as a system passes on through in 74. There's the cooler air I was talking about. Looks like by next weekend, temperatures only in the 60s, uh, low temperatures around 50 degrees. So, I mean, it's a sign that we're heading into September. You start having these cooler days. That's kind of what the average is. But, I mean, of course, that's Saturday and Sunday. That is below average for us. So your Labor Day, I mean, it's looking very pretty. 73 comfortable degrees, not a lot of wind. And then a, a little warm-up Wednesday, and then it gets unsettled by the, the end of the week.